Hello, and welcome to a very disappointing person. Because I do not Prepare like this. Prepare for battle. Capture bases, destroy all enemies. There was an audio clip of this, but then I really decided that it don't exist. Anyway, I got the Centauro. Isn't that nice? Dum -ba dum -ba dum. The vehicle's pretty nice. It's only stock here, but it's almost fully upgraded now. That's a thing. Base a vehicle captured. is very interesting. But you Base may be wondering why lost. I'm playing it. Um, well, it's because... We lost the lead. Well, I got money from the update, so... I bought that. A T-72A. Some... Other tanks. Um, what's the name? The XM-800... T. Probably there won't be any background noise in this. Or much. Hmm. Yeah, this thing puts out a lot of damage, don't it? Puts out even more damage when it's fully upgraded. And has a crew member that reduces the reload by like a whole second. It's very good. Base C captured. Mm -hmm. Base A lost. Um, yeah, this update's pretty big. Upgrades no longer cost monies, they only cost coins, which means you can actually spend your coins. And not like a couple hundred before you can spend more coins. Which is always a good thing in my opinion. It means you can Base actually B use them when you get them and such. There's also a reach search thing that we'll get to eventually. That already had to probably isn't very happy. <coughs> Sorry about that. They are halfway to victory. Keep fighting. This if you can't tell. Just, I already know what's going to happen, and just, yeah, kind of hard to put into words. I got captured in this, so I got crew member. We are who dominating adds the reload. battle field. Such the Thonovich guy, or whatever it is. You know what? Let's just get to the chase of what this is supposed to be about. We've the taken the lead. Base B captured. Top on experience and score and stuff, as usual. Even though I only got two kills. Income appears to be increased a small bit. Can't really tell. Bum -ba -dum, there's that thing. It's a thing. I mean, it's cool, but I don't have any money, so it don't matter. But yeah, I'll purchase stuff. You can kind of see some of it there. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I was hoping to have the missions update. Which, of course, wasn't happening. Can't even remember what I was talking about here. But have you noticed in the left-hand corner, there's a tank barrel sticking out of the canvas of what used to be... Nothing sticking out of the canvas. I think that's a hint as to where the update's going. We'll see it in a second. But yeah, here I was explaining, I think, about how... Well, you get a bunch of money. Because, look, there's a Centauro. <laughs> Then that's me going to the chat. Anyway, what does this update bring? Well, the chat channels work now. That's a thing. Um, tanks that they added. They added the PTL-02 Assaulter, which is tier six, which I don't have, or probably won't have for a while. My but it's gonna be a while, still. Um, what else? Uh, research points, they're a thing. Oh, yeah, more of this stuff about not having to pay money, which is always a good thing. Uh, yeah, now you have something to spend your numerous coins on. <coughs> I'm not gonna bother editing those out. I don't feel like it. Um, some crew members got buffs and nerfs. I'll mention those probably very soon. Oh, yeah, stats work now, so they update properly. So any max spread and those sorts of things still work and can be used to do things and other stuff. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, crew members. Yeah, showing the max stat thing. If you bring max spread down, it actually decreases aim time kind of cool, so it's sort of reflexive now. Yeah, see? Aim time's higher by about a second. Anyway, uh, research system. Uh, it's kind of different. You know what? I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit. There it is. Uh, every a fully upgraded tank has a certain allocation of research points that they start off with, and then you have to play it a little, a little more than you had to before to get more of these points. And depending on the tier, you'll get like one or two, maybe even three off them. Higher tiers, you can get as much as 16, starting off with four on the Merc... Merkava. Uh, I no longer have these because I decided to reset points because it showed it was free and I fell for it and now they're all invested into tactics and I don't have any more points. They're no longer as spread out, they're all in tactics, so I can go faster and such. Not a bad thing, but... You know, I would have preferred to have some... more rounded statistics in attack and defense. If you know what I mean. But yeah, for each level that a tank goes up now, they all start back at one if they're elite. Um, you will get research points, which you can spend here. And they all cost a certain amount. Oh yeah, these are going to be overpowered. Totally not overpowered. Of course, I'm kidding. 
a bunch of those stats are going to be overpowered as heck. Like the... The Cannon Stabilizer one, which puts stabilizers on all tanks. And yes, this includes Tier 1. So... You know... Opinus. Very OP. Very much so. Because that means that you will never have to worry about the max statistic. Just the minimum. Module damage, few range. Yeah, inaccuracy while moving. That totally ain't going to be OP. Totally not overpowered. Sarcasm. Oh yeah, there's also the shells plus 50% and damage plus 5%. Which probably won't mean much at tier 1 except that you get... 30 more rounds of ammunition that you don't need. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also one at the bottom of the attack tree. Or is it the defense tree? The defense tree. Adaptive heals. Every time you kill a tank, you gain like 15% of your health. Which means if you kill three tanks, you get half your health back. Um, makes kill killing very viable. Also, look at that shell speed. It goes a mile per second. That's 1.6 kilometers per second. That is a very fast shell. Super fast. All the fast. So yeah, those statistics are going... Those tech stuff is going to make things harder to do in terms of that. Oh, now we're on to the commanders. Jeku now has Ramming Master instead of the always ready thing. And the effect duration buffs have been nerfed significantly on a bunch of them, including the one I fully up. Created. The one who gives you the stabilizer thingy for the crew. Oh, and this one has the biggest nerf. Notice, it is 20 seconds longer to reload the quadcopter. So it no longer... You can't, like, pop them, pop them, pop them. You can't have one up continuously is what I'm trying to say here. Still pretty good, but it's not as good. Oh, and Mario, Rosie, whoever. Um, he also got a buff. Unlike some of these other guys. Smoke radius is 40 now instead of 20, so it can go up to 60. So we can cover up an entire capture circle. Pretty dope. At least I think. Yeah, 40 meters. Plus 50%. That is 60 meters. You can literally smoke up an entire capture circle. That's pretty good. And I couldn't see many changes to anything else. So there's that. That's pretty much all the crew changes I could figure out. There's also a new Andy car. I don't know why they called him Andy car, but he's a car. Yeah, there's not been any changes to, like, drivers or... Anything like that. 
as far as I can tell. However, the game does correctly display... Actually, there's one thing it don't correctly display any... This display, which it never did, is... Oh yeah, the graphics thing. That was the thing. But yeah, it still doesn't show the change to missile speed when you put a guy on for that. So... Well, that's about the only thing that doesn't change. Everything else does change, will change, and it all works now. Which is a very good thing. Do, do, do. Look at all these things. Oh yeah, the tabs got changed, so... They are no longer in three trees, they are just all clobbed up into tabs. Well, it means you don't have to... You know, go wandering through the trees to find the tank you want. They're all just separated into tiers. Just go to the tier you want and you will most likely find the tank you're looking for. So that's good. Kind of messes up my previous video on the tech trees though. Because they're no longer in order for any of the tiers. Oh yeah, you still need to do elite missions. But yeah, have you looked at the Merkaba? There's a counter down there. It has 4 of 16. Once you get it to the max level, you, level, you will get the other 12 gradually as you go up the levels. So yeah, even lower tiers like the tier 2 also have that and the tier 1, which, I mean, if you have tokens, you may as well skip them because, I mean... Really, why would you keep them all around? I still want to get the elite missions done on them, but besides that, I basically just skipped tier one entirely, and I'll probably be working on the on tier two to get those research points because they can get me to OP things. But yeah, the thing that the research points really hurt are new players who just enter the game. Oh yeah, I like the XM800T. I haven't played it much, but... Oh yeah, image on the Leopard 2 AV. Do you notice the thing in the background that I pointed out earlier? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're one and the same. Tier 8 when my.com? <laughs> I'm gonna say on that. Oh, yeah, this really demonstrates the changes. Look at the max min spread. And then. Watch what happens when I change it to max accuracy. It goes down, and then when I go over here to change it to Erie Duran, who reduces the max spread, the max spread is smaller than the minimum spread. Oh my god. That literally means it's more accurate while firing on the move than it is sitting still. Yeah, that's not overpowered at all. Well, I mean, it kind of isn't, but at the same time, it kind of is. It kind of makes that dude pointless. It was just deciding on who to pick. I think I just stuck with that guy in the end. But yeah, that's a weird thing. Uh, that's showing... 
I don't think there was any changes. Yeah, there's Andy Cart. Ultimate mode. It basically buffs everything. So, yeah. I mean, it's not overpowered. It only lasts 10 seconds. 15 with the... That thing. Without deck, it's not really much of a thing. Oh yeah, I got the reload boot, and I still want David Liverman because monies. I like monies. It makes more monies. I really want it, but at the same time, the game's not giving it to me, so I'm not gonna really complain. I got a reload buff. I'm happy. Yeah, Sheridan. Notice how they also have tech points. Tier 2, they either have... Um, 2, 3, or 4 points that you can get from them, besides them just existing. If you can't tell, premiums are very, very good things to get in this, because now they dedicate a lot of points to research, a ton of them, as well as purples and greens. So get your purples and greens while you can, to get more points, to become overpowered, and all those other sorts of things. Uh, besides that, though, I can't really tell many differences between this patch and the last one. The Jerrica is still OP. I hear the Weasel is now overpowered, but... I mean, besides that, is there really anything that's changed besides the addition of a couple things? Oh, and there's also now a ping counter when you're playing the game. Which is amazing. Um, well, I'm gonna call it here, I think. Oh yeah, there's these. I was just fiddling around with that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here on this video. Goodbye. Um, adios, other languages that I do not speak. Um, update's pretty good. Makes the game more versatile. Adds to the flavor. Other things. You can also see uh, missions when you respawn back in your tank so you can see progress while you're in the battle which is a good thing anyways uh thanks for watching like if you like this subscribe if you want to see more content like this i'll probably be doing more of these in the near future um is there anything else to say no, not really. I don't think so. Bye. See you next time.